Welcome back, this is That Guy in the Right, and this is Let's Play Star Trek on the NES. In the last episode, we finished Shroud 4, and set Harry Mud free, reluctantly, sadly. So, let's go to the last planet, Sigma, Myo Sigma Iota, which, if you're a fan of the... I don't want to start the landing party. I want to go somewhere. If you... And... If I remember right, it's in... Oh, Iota, right there. Iota, Class M. Yes. Mr. Chekhov, plot of course. Class plotted, laid in, sir. What's this? Captain, a Romulan vessel has appeared on my scanner. All stop, Mr. Sulu. Yellow alert. Oh my. Uh oh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. Come on! Alright. Kirk! Harcourt Mud was a prisoner of the Romulan Empire. Beware to pay for your treasury! This isn't good. Captain, my Romulan ship has locked phasers. Red alert! Get those shields up! Alright. The first piece of battle, I just B fires phasers, which are good for close range. But if you really, but if you want to tear through their shields, you want to use phasers. Once their shields are down, cut into their hull with a nice tor photon torpedo up the ass. Get your ass over here. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Oh. Okay. Hey, get, get your ass over here. And... Oh, you bitch. Stop! Stop hitting me! Stop! Come on. Ow! This can't be good. Did I just... Did I lose? Uh-oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Ah! Crap, 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 crap. Wow. And... Ooh. Another Constitution class came to save us. Captain Kirk! You have filed your mission as a result of your own poor judgment. The Enterprise will be towed back to Starbase 1. Well, at least I'm back. We need more time. You must let us complete the mission. If you are fortunate enough to avoid a court-martial, they may consider giving you another chance. A court-martial? Alright, we're giving this a third try, so... Come on, let's get this... Yeah, yeah, we've seen it. Yeah, yeah, blocked phasers. Fire the goddamn phasers. Stop. Oh, come on. I just want to get past this part of the game. God, oh, oh, you fucker. Why won't you fire? Ooh, got, got him. Hit him hard. Okay, phasers charge. Oh, hit him hard. Come on. Hit, come on, get him. Come on. Damn it. Oh, wait, we knocked out their front shields. And we're hurt, too. Don't. Oh, 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 oh. And. Ooh, we hit him hard right there. And did we get him? Did we get him? Did we get him? Yes! It... Got him! Secure! Secure from Red Alert! Continue on course, Mr. Sulu! Oh my god, we finally did it! Finally kicked his ass! Sensors indicate we have arrived, Captain. Slow to in Slow! To impulse! Stand it over, Mr. Sulu! Aye, Captain. Oh my... And 
and we are here at Sigma My Iota. Not one iota. Stan now in standard orbit, sir. All right, let's go down to the planet. Uh, if you if you are a fan of the series, you might recognize this planet. It is the um, planet Spock. And Spock, have you determined how to close the dimensional gate? Insufficient data, Captain. Perhaps something on the planet will prove a clue as to its origin. If there is such a clue, let's hope we find it. The the episode dealt with a planet that was its history was influenced by a book that another Federation officer left on the planet dealing with 20s mobsters. So the planet pretty much became a planet of mobsters. So it was just lousy. You know, gang, 50s mafia, mafioso and stuff like that. So <sighs> Oh, and I screwed something up. Be right back. And I forgot to grab a historian, so I s went back and switched out McCoy for a historian. So, now we are prepared to go to the planet. So, let's go. And, let's get up here. What's up here? All right, nothing in there. Ooh, pile, there's a pile of crap here. What's this? Captain, I found the library access, computer access card if the, in the books. If we can find a computer, we can access it with the card. I'll add it to our inventory. Okay, thank you for that. Let's go up here. And we're in the library. You can find some pretty good books at the library. Especially on the gangster planet. Ooh, is that the computer? It doesn't look like a computer. This is the library computer terminal. If we had an access card, perhaps we could find out what happened to the planet's inhabitants. And use item. And... Libcar. It appears that the oceans were trying to develop a dimensional gate. Wait, here's something. A Federation com communicator was left here the time of our last visit. The increased knowledge from that technology allowed the oceans to be begin dimensional gate experiments that ultimately led to their destruction, Captain. We must go back in time to correct the error. What's this? Kirk Enterprise. Mr. Scott, prepare for the warp speed breakaway maneuver. Which is used to go through time. Yeah, three to beam up. Mr. Chekhov, compute a trajectory around the Iotian sun. Feed the data to Mr. Spock's console. Aye, sir. Scotty, is all you need? Aye, sir. I'll give you that, and we'll give you a wee bit more. <laughs> Mr. Spock, execute as soon as you are ready. Mr. Sulu, accelerate to maximum warp. On my signal. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, Mr. Sulu! Oh, we're going too fast! I'm gonna lose my lunch! Oh, go through time. This is how, this is how they travel through time in Star Trek. <laughs> we made it! Slow to impulse. Standard orbit, Mr. Sulu. Aye, Captain. Oh, aye, Captain. Oh, my. That sounded like check off for a second. And we're about ready to get there. And... Oh, that looks better. Now in standard orbit, sir. Mr. Spock, do you have... You and Dr. McCoy will accompany me to the transporter room. There we go. Now we have McCoy. Mr. Mr. Spock, do you understand our objective? Yeah. Yes, Captain. To correct an error made by Dr. McCoy on our first visit to Suma Iota. This time, let's keep an eye on the good doctor and ensure he doesn't make another one. Woo! And you guys. Hmm. 
All right, we got. As soon as we get down there, we're gonna go west. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, go faster. We've seen this a million times before already, actually. So, come on! And... Yeah, it looks a little bit better. West. Enter the shop. Ooh. Could this be the shop? Uh-oh. Stop! Stop those hoodlums! They stole my money! There we go. There appears to be a diamond. This is a diamond on one of these robbers. I'll add it to our inventory until we find its owner. Okay. Thank you for stopping them! Yeah, take this deck of marked cards. It might be useful to you later on. Alright, we got the deck of marked cards. Now... Let's go. Damn it. Now let's go south. Ooh, what's this? This bone, this bone is very interesting, Captain. Very, it is very strong for its small size. Shall we add it to our inventory? Yeah. Hmm. Sir, will you help my dog? There was a shootout. My dog accidentally got hurt. Please, you got to help my dog, will you? Yeah. Bones. See what you can do about that dog. I'm a doctor, not a veterinarian, veterinarian, but I'll try him. Mm. Looks like you'll be all right. Thanks, mister. Here, all I can do is pay you with this gumball. Bye. Well, that was, um, crappy. All right. Let's go down here and go east. And shortcut. Oh, what's this? Captain, I believe this the item is called a hairpin. I shall add it to our inventory. Yeah. Huh. Alright. This is just grabbing shit, really. And we should be coming across a stick sometime. Oop, right there's the stick. <laughs> it appears to be a wooden stick about 79.34 centimeters in length. Shall I add to our inventory? Yeah. Ah. All right, let's go north. Storm drain. There are several coins at the bottom of the gutter. I would estimate that they are they lie 73.21 centimeters below the middle grading. All right, first, this is the tricky part. We gotta use stick. How we get the coin that? Stick at the end of it. Now you now we go here and gumball. Good work, Captain. I'll add them to our inventory. Did that? It's the only time you have to combine items in the entire game. And where is it? Where is it? Uh. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, coins, okay. Grab the coins already. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go south and see if we can enter a casino. Maybe we can play some Fizbin. Yes. Oh, alright. And maybe this is it. Yeah, it might be it. Hey, Kirk, Oxmix has been asking about you. Here's a number you can reach him at. Alright. Hmm. The casino is closed! Alright. Yeah. Alright, well, there's this guy right down here. I didn't even notice. Here we go. But, before I do anything with him, I'm going to end this off right here. In the next episode, we'll be reviving this guy and finishing off this mission. So, this is that guy on the right, signing off. Have a good day. That's a lot of flickering.